Hi everyone, I'm Brie from The Scientific Vegan and today I'm going to be talking about animal agriculture and its impact on climate change. I want to start by pointing out that everything I'm going to be discussing today is backed up by peer-reviewed scientific literature. There's not going to be any distressing imagery and I'm going to keep my opinion out of it and just present you with the facts as best that we currently know them. Animal agriculture, that is the farming of animals for human use and consumption, is a leading driver for climate change. So climate change has huge global impacts, including more and more extreme weather, the melting of polar ice sheets and glaciers leading to flooding and erosion, as well as impacts to human health, including an increase in temperature related deaths and negative impacts on crop yields. So that means less food for a population that is growing very fast. There is an increasing amount of scientific research that suggests a global diet change will be necessary to mitigate or slow the impacts or reduce the impacts of climate change. Um, this is namely a decrease in or elimination of animal products, particularly beef and dairy. Climate change also brings with it an increase in infectious diseases. So if you think that not eating the steak a day will kill you, you should try malaria, dengue fever, cholera, red tide, and Lyme disease. Mmm, they're really all very serious diseases. While some people, groups, and governments deny the causes of climate change or that it's actually happening, about 97% of climate scientists agree that it is happening and is caused by humans. Humans are causing this climate change by our increased contribution to the greenhouse gas effect. So greenhouse gases like water vapour, carbon dioxide and methane are common byproducts of modern day human activity including animal agriculture and basically the more greenhouse gas we produce the warmer the earth will get. These greenhouse gases act like a blanket over the Earth, absorbing infrared radiation and preventing it from escaping into outer space. So the increasing buildup of these greenhouse gases, so making our blanket thicker, causes the Earth's surface temperature to increase and results in global warming, aka climate change. The more greenhouse gases humans produce, the bigger the impact on climate change. The livestock sector is responsible for 18% of global greenhouse gas emissions from producing animal feed to their digestion and manure. Now livestock farming is also negatively impacting air and water quality, ocean health and is the largest use of land globally. Technological developments such as genetically engineered pigs and vaccines for cows have the potential to reduce the livestock sector's greenhouse gas emissions. However, these have several barriers to production as well as serious ethical considerations. And there is mounting scientific evidence that we will need an entire rehaul of our global dietary habits in order to mitigate climate change as well as feed an ever increasing global population. A report from the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations acknowledges that the livestock sector is a major stressor on many ecosystems and on the planet as a whole. Globally, it is one of the largest sources of greenhouse gases and one of the leading causal factors in the loss of biodiversity. While in developed and emerging countries, it is perhaps the leading source of water pollution. In fact, a whopping 70% of deforestation has been caused by the stripping needed to grow food for farmed animals. 70%! And before anyone thinks that if we were all to start eating more plant-based and less animal-based products, we would need even more room to grow plants, it takes a lot more room and resources to grow plants, to feed to animals, to feed to humans, than it does to grow plants to feed directly to humans. In the spirit of being well-rounded, there are some studies that suggest the consumption of insects as an alternative protein source um, could combat climate change and increase food security. So I'd leave my opinion out of this, so I'll leave it up to you if you'd rather eat a bowl of lentils or a fistful of crickets. Intensive farming of cows and sheep for beef, dairy and sheep meat products is the biggest contribution to livestock greenhouse gas emissions and beef and dairy consumption is actually increasing globally so this is a very real problem. Especially as last year research from the University of Minnesota comparing diets found that the fewer animal sourced foods that we eat the greater the benefit to both climate change and health. So there you go. So the need to start considering our dietary habits seriously is a big one and a shift in diets away from animal source products towards more plant based products is an important move for the health of the planet and to combat climate change. 
Anyway, I hope I've given you some food for thought today. If you're interested in checking up on what I've talked about or you want to read further, I've compiled a list of the papers that I've used and I'm going to leave it in a link below. Alright folks, that's it from me. Thanks for watching.